Hello Aries. Aries, welcome to your reading. We are going to be looking at our Oracle cards and our Tarot cards to dive deep into the messages that are meant for you. So straight away, we're going to be looking at the blockages that are currently around you. And we are getting our Oracle card saying that for you, you need to know, believe and understand that the divine is around you. It is time for you to start feeling that divine presence that is around you. Because for some of you, you, go, you don't feel it, you don't see it, you don't sense it. And because of that, you are not able to receive divine information, divine protection. Because you are not welcoming these energies into your life. So beloved, divine wants you to know, wants you to understand, wants you to feel the presence that is around you because in that moment you're going to be able to start saying your prayers and your prayers will be received and your prayers will be answered but when you don't feel that the divine is there for you then you don't really pray your your faith is weak the divine is saying it is time to strengthen your faith okay in the weakness position the divine wants you to understand that it is time to release and to let go of the pain that you feel connected to some traumatic situations that you experienced in the past. Because this is causing a weakness within you. So the divine is saying to you, take time to just sit down and to write everything that you've been holding in your heart. You've been holding in your soul. When you hold on to things that pain you, when you hold on to the disappointment, it starts causing an environment in your spiritual body that is a poisonous and toxic environment. The reason for releasing and letting go is that you can welcome peace into your life. The reason of even forgetting and forgiving a situation is because you have learned everything there was to learn from that situation. And you just accept it for what it is, not because you're justifying the things that people have done, but because you're finally realizing that you deserve peace. In the release and let go position for you, the divine is saying to you, it is time to stop some self-sabotaging behaviors that are getting in the way of your success, of your victories, that are literally blocking the blessings that are wanting to flow into your life. So self-sabotaging behaviors could be you procrastinating, could be you making promises to yourself. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And you know, the devil watches and says, okay, let's see how dedicated you are. Let's see how disciplined you are. And the devil will send temptation towards you and as temptation comes in do you stay disciplined do you stay strong or do you give in to the temptation welcoming in that self-sabotaging behaviors that is killing your manifestations what is wanting to come into your life so the divine is saying it is time to get serious and it is time to get disciplined because for you beautiful things are wanting to come into your experience. The next card that we have, the divine is saying in your strength position is our card that is telling you that it is time. It is time to have that difficult conversation that you have been, you've been ignoring. You've been sidestepping. The divine is saying, have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation so that everybody knows where they stand. The longer you leave this situation, the more you just get disappointed, the more you're just wasting your time. When you have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation, you release, you say what you've been holding in your spirit. The other person can get mad. Or the other person can have an opportunity to explain themselves, to apologize for themselves. So whichever way the situation is going to be playing out, the divine is saying, don't run away. 
from the difficult conversation that is well overdue. When you have that conversation, it activates that energy of strength to then do whatever it is that you need to do next. So our next cards that we are going to be looking at is going to be our tarot cards. And I want to say to you, Aries, have you managed to come and join and watch the TikTok life spiritual cleanses that I have been doing every single day? If you haven't come and watched yet, I'm once again inviting you to come along and just to watch what the spiritual cleanses are all about. And since it is life, you have an opportunity to ask questions in the comments. You have an opportunity to start seeing and maybe networking with like-minded people because people are certainly making friendships. And more than that, people are there supporting, praying over each other and uplifting each other's spirits. It's a really nice little community that is growing bigger and bigger by the day. So if you're just wanting to come along and watch the TikTok Live Spiritual Cleanses, go to my TikTok account which is in the description box below. When you get there, follow me. And then after that, click the bell, the notification bell, and then press all. And then when I'm going live, you will be notified to say, I am going live. And for those of you who are wanting to do your own cleanses because you're wanting to release and let go self-sabotaging behaviors, maybe even hexes, bad luck, ill intentions, evil eyes that you might just feel around you, you can go in the description box below and you can go to my website and you can reserve your space on whatever spiritual cleanse you're wanting to have done. And then we come together and we perform the spiritual cleanse on the specific day that you have chosen. The reason why I'm doing the TikTok lives is because many of you were saying, you know, would love to work with you, but we don't have the money right now. You have got like situations going on. So by doing a live TikTok cleanse, it gives more people an opportunity to take part because I've really lowered the price as much as I can. It is really, really low. Okay, so take the opportunity whilst the opportunity is there. So looking at our tarot cards, it is interesting to me that every single tarot card that you've received is a major arcana card. When we have major arcana cards, this is powerful, strong energies that are around you. The major arcana cards hold the weight of the reading and having all of them being major arcana cards, the divine is saying, you need to take a seat because we, we need to talk. So first things first, the first major arcana card that you received is connected to the energies of the divine presence around you. And with that, you have the death and rebirth card that is here. And for me, the most interesting thing is the vibe, is the energies that are very much similar. Okay. We've even got a hooded figure that is there and the same vibe and the same energy that is there. So the divine is saying to you, when you feel my divine presence, it is because I want to show you what you need to release and let go. What needs to die? Where you are wasting time, watering dead plants, dead relationships, dead friendships, dead situations. You're currently working with divine timing because it is time for you to realize that a rebirth is on the cards. You're going to go through a major transformation, a major upgrade. And so this is why the divine was saying to you, it is time to stop self-sabotaging because there are good things that are waiting to come into your life. And because there is that self-sabotaging behaviors, you can see with our major kind of card of the judgment card, you are still not releasing and letting go the things that you know you should have released and let go of a long time ago. What toxic behaviors do you engage in? Is it too much alcohol, partying, drinking, smoking, you know, weed and all of that? 
there's just something that is tempting. Okay, and that temptation is literally blocking your growth. It's literally stopping your blessings coming in because your hands are full and you are too busy. So the divine is saying it is time to really take responsibility and finally release what is getting in the way of your abundance, your blessings and your new beginnings. The rebirth is here for a reason. It is time. And in the weakness position, remember, the divine was saying, whatever has hurt you, whatever has caused you to entertain self-sabotaging behaviors, it is time to sit down and write everything that you are wanting to release and let go out of your life. Because when you do, like I said, there are many blessings that are wanting to come into your life. But when you are busy, engaged in self-sabotaging behaviors, you are not able to listen and hear the divine message that the divine is wanting to give you. The divine is wanting to give you divine messages so that you can make the next move in a powerful way, creating the stability that you're currently praying for and seeing yourself upgrading yourself into a powerful, powerful position. You are literally being given the keys to your heaven, to your blessings, to your upgrade. The keys are here. Are you ready to realize this? Or are you still going to be entertaining temptation when it comes knocking, blocking the blessings that are trying to enter into your life? This is your human experience. So it is up to you how you move and the decisions that you make. So it is time to choose which one is it going to be. Our last card where your strength is coming from. Remember the divine is saying, have a heart to heart conversation. Okay, release what is weighing heavy on your heart. Have that conversation because when you do, I told you something incredible is going to happen. Something is going to change. The sun card is victorious. The sun card feels good, full of blessings. You know how it feels when it is summertime? It just feels so good. There's so many good things that are happening. There is parties. There's so many opportunities. People are happy. There's just a vibe. When it is winter time in your life, you just feel like, oh, you know. And so the divine is saying that for some of you, you need to have this heart to heart conversation about what is truly getting in the way with yourself. Okay. And as you're real, honest with yourself, taking responsibilities. This is when you are going to be seeing that the major arcana card of the judgment card, instead of it being re in reverse, where you're holding on to things that bring nothing, no value into your life. This is when you turn these energies into the position, the upright position, where you are now truly serious about the changes that need to happen. And this will enable you to release those ghosts that are just taking space, energy and wasting your time. So this is the reading that I have for you. If you found value in this reading, Aries, please do give this video a big thumbs up. And remember to come and join me on TikTok. And if you need your own cleansing done to remove these self-sabotaging behaviors, then you can go in the description box below and you can go to my website and you can reserve your space on the TikTok live cleanse or there's an option to have a private cleanse where we are not on TikTok. So on that note, I'm going to see you very soon. I'm going to see you on TikTok for sure. And it is a goodbye from me.